bikini poppin', I'm a blossom I don't need a bottom money to my robin' I'm official, on a dotted You can hear the vroom vroom in my robin' I'm not sorry, no I'm not sorry It's official, I'm a problem, I done made it this far I'm not sorry, I'm not sorry so hey girl, hey, hey girl, hey, hey girl, hey. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here, listen, stick around, don't be a stranger, and do consider subscribing. If this is not your first time here, you already know the drill. You keep coming back to see me for a reason, so baby, you already know the vibe. So go ahead and subscribe. Y'all see the title of this video, so y'all already know what we about to get into, baby. Let me get y'all set up, and girl, let's go get this tea, honey. Let me tell y'all, initially, guys, this is not going to be a video. Let me pull y'all a little bit closer, honey. Let me pull y'all a little bit closer. So, the initial video I recorded when I was in my old home before I moved into this home. I recorded it and I said you know what I ain't gonna make that no video girl I ain't gonna make that no video I'ma just let it be I'ma just let the situation ride and forever and just and just let it be just just let it be because y'all know if you're not new here y'all know that whenever I have conversations with my ex I record them because of who he is so I don't have a conversation with him without recording it and let me tell you how this whole situation came about guys a few days before we were to close we were scheduled to close on the sale of my old house um, he started a bunch of shit he called he called the realtor that I have listing the home, but before he called, he had another realtor call. Um, the realtor didn't tell my realtor their name. They just said that they worked for Keller Williams. Now, I'm going to tell you guys, Keller Lucky has a friend named Christopher who's, all, who's also Nigerian who lives in Iowa. Him and Lucky grew up together in Nigeria. Christopher lives in Iowa. He's a real estate broker. He works for Keller Williams. Um, Christopher is married. His wife is not Nigerian, but I don't know if she's American or she's from another country because I've never met her. But anyway, long story short, I guess he looked on Zillow or whatever and saw that I had the home up for sale. Um, so he had whoever this man was, call Jessica and tell Jessica that I didn't have his permission to sell the home, that I was remarried, that um, I had forged his signature um, on the um, quick claim deed with him deeding his rights to the house over to me. Um, he was talking, you know, a lot of shit about my children, just a lot of stuff. And as a real estate broker and as a licensed professional, if this was Christopher who called because he didn't tell Jessica what his name was, um, if it was Christopher who called as a licensed real estate broker, and if it wasn't, if it was someone else who works for Keller, Keller Williams, but it's just a huge coincidence that one of his best friends works for Keller Williams and is a real estate broker and a real estate broker that identified themselves as working for Keller Williams called Jessica. But as a real estate broker, a licensed real estate broker you should have better sense than to call another broker without checking your facts first just strictly going off of what lucky is saying because lucky will tell a lie you know he lied and said that he didn't sign this quick claim deed giving me all rights to this home which he did he went into that's actually the same attorney that closed on the home that closed us on the home when we purchased the home back in November of 2019. He went into the same attorney's office and signed the deed, deeding the home over to me. In North Carolina, it's called a non warranty deed. Let me show you guys this because he said I forged his signature. That's the lie that he was trying to tell at first, not thinking about 
watched what this could mean for this attorney because that could have been a big thing for this attorney he just tell lies not caring about what it means for someone i put um sticky notes over if you ever file a deed you know what all this stuff up here is because i let i let you see the top part but i put sticky notes over this because even though i i don't own this home anymore and i don't live there anymore you never know what someone may try to do but let me show you guys something you see on here where it says the grantor which is lucky boomer and the grantee which is me let me hold this and let it focus so you guys can see what it is you can see what it is but I just blocked out like up under here is his current address and right here is the old address um, my old address you know of where the home was someone lives there now but I'm not going so I'm not going to show that address so you see what this is on the next page and more than that is clipped to it I have some more stuff clipped to it but on this next page of it guys right here and I think on the clips that I'm going to show you guys, I think I told you guys that he signed it on the 21st of January, but he actually signed it on January the 19th. And the first page says that um, this deed, this deed made the 19th day of January 2023 by and between. You see right here. That's what it says it right here. And then you see my name and his name. Divorce, not remarried, divorce, not remarried. Even though, you know, he had that broker call and say that I was remarried and blah, 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 blah. Okay, right here. This is his signature. You see the attorney seal, but look at his signature. He said he didn't sign this. He said I forced your signature. This is his signature, guys. Let me show you guys something. When we purchased the home in January of, I mean, excuse me, in November of 2019, I can show you guys this now. I'm not going to show the email because this is my current email address that I still use my personal. But this is a fax. Lucky a boomer. You see it was going to Survey Solutions. That's who the document was going to. Let me show you guys because I didn't want to pull the entire um because i still have the entire all the paperwork that we did when we signed the original mortgage november 13 2019 this is the original barrier promise to pay let me put one of these sticky notes over the address because like i said someone lives here now so i don't want to do that how can I? I'm going to put this because I want you guys to see what it is. And it says, you can see it. Say, I'm going to try to put my finger over it so you guys can see. But right here, you see it says original is stamped on it right there. But let me show you guys. Hold on. Because I want you guys to see original. And then let me put this here. Do it have the address anywhere else? No, it doesn't. So, but you see the date. This is the date that we purchased the home. You see the date? And then you see what it is. The promise to pay, right? And then, let me flip this over. And show you guys on this promise to pay. His signature. He had to sign and print his name. You see his signature? See his signature? And let me put his signature when he went into the lawyer's office to do the quick claim deed. Look at the signature, guys. He said he didn't sign it. Let me hold it. This is his signature. He signed and printed when we purchased the home in November of 19th of 2019. This is his signature when he went in in January. Yeah. And signed the quick claim deed of 2023. Look at the signatures. Look at the signatures, guys. Can you see them? Is it better for me to put them side by side? I mean, but look at the signatures. Let me get it so, because I want you to, is it better for me to put it? Yeah, it's better for me to put it this way. <coughs> then I'm going to slide it down so they're right there. But, yeah, look at the signatures. Same signature. Same signature. But he said he didn't sign it. Same signature. This is also, hold on. 
when he had to sign the promissory note because we received down payment assistance from North Carolina Home Advantage Mortgage Program, you know, um, the down payment assistance program. On that, let me see where his signature is on that. Let me show you guys that signature. Hold on. Oh, is this the same? No, right here. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. That was the signature on that. This is his signature on the promissory note, the promise to pay. Yeah, where he signed and dated it. Look at the signature. Y'all see that? And I'm going to put his other paper when he signed the quick claim deed. Let me put this at the top. Same signature. This is the quick claim deed on the top. This is when we purchased the home. Same signature, guys. But he said he didn't sign it. Y'all see his signature? Ain't nobody duplicating this. Y'all see how distinct his signature is? But he lied and said he didn't go into that lawyer's office. I'm going to leave this right here and sign this. He lied and said he didn't do it. Um, and he had whoever that was. Let me put all this stuff back in order. So I want to keep everything in order. You know, his other signature, the affidavit and the owner affidavit and amenity agreement that has to be signed, that had to be signed when he signed the quick claim deed. His signature, the attorney seal. But y'all get the gist. Y'all see the signature. He know he signed it. But he tried to say he didn't sign it and just stored it a whole lot of whole lot of for nothing um i called him after jessica called me because jessica said after she spoke with the um the broker who called her she said um he called her again because she said initially he called her and she didn't answer because she didn't have a reason to talk to him so after she spoke with the broker and got the broker straight lucky called her so she spoke to him and she said she basically told him you went into that attorney's office in january of this year this time guys it was october you went into that attorney's office you signed that quick claim deed well now warranty deed it's the same thing and you deeded your rights over of everything to this home to her she can sell this home and she don't have to discuss anything about it with you so she called me and me and her talked i called him when i called him he was being the same asshole he has been to me since we separated since before we separated the same asshole he told me to get the fuck off his phone and he hung up the phone on me I'm going I'm to do a video showing that entire conversation plus the second conversation we had that day because initially when I did this video, guys, I played the conversation from that day and every conversation we had leading up to him begging me for money um, from the sale of the house. Um, but that video was so long, it was over two hours. It was actually close to three hours. It would have been over three hours if I didn't edit it some. The reason I'm breaking these videos down is because I don't want a little troll on here saying that I'm picking and choosing clips to make him look a certain way. No, I'm going to play the entire conversation from start to finish so you guys can hear. The purpose of this video right here is straight up the audacity. He came here, he used me for a green card, he played with me, he played with my children, he mistreated me, he mistreated my children. He left everything dumped on my head, he lied on me and about me to everybody. I gave him his American dream, y'all, I gave him his American dream. And he has the audacity to call me and ask me for money. He has the audacity to do that. And then in the video, this is 
the most calmest and the most respectful that he has been to me in years. He didn't even talk to me this calm and respectful when I was married to him. He didn't even talk to me this calm and disrespectful and, and respectful when I was married to him. Like, the shit is crazy. You did what you did. You signed over the home to me. You haven't paid one mortgage payment on this home in over three years. When we were together, you didn't, the mortgage in that house is only $1,014 and like 78 cents. You didn't pay one mortgage payment on that home when we was together without me paying at least five to $600 of it. The majority of the time, I was at least paying $600. I paid the majority of that mortgage payment every time. When I left the home because of all the shit he was saying, all the threats that he was making, and I was just in a bad space, you know, mental health wise, I needed to get away from there. I needed to breathe. When I left that home, you know, he wanted to go back there. He was going to do X, Y, and Z. I left there. I was gone there for like seven, eight months. Got that letter from the foreclosure attorney saying the house was going into foreclosure. It took over $37,000 to pull that house out of foreclosure. He didn't help with any of that. It was all me. When I went back to that home, like the grass in the backyard was taller than me. The city had cut that grass down. I had to pay a company to come and manicure it and get it all back decent and livable. That was over $400. I had to pay a pest control company. Well, I didn't have to, but I did because that grass so high, you know, pests living there. When you cut it down, they have to go somewhere. You know, nine times out of ten, they're going to go in your house. That's the closest to it. I paid a pest control company to come spray all of that and treat the house. He didn't help me with any of that. I paid over $4,000 with foundation stuff in the house. He didn't help me with any of that. Um, when I was there, I was back there like less than a month and got a huge bill from the city because of how the yard was and all of those fines and it was fines that wasn't included in what they had charged um and sent to the foreclosure attorney because when a home going to foreclosure and the city's charging fees that the city will send those fees to the foreclosure attorney and so it was stuff that wasn't included in that the city sent me a bill i think that bill was like three thousand some dollars I paid all of that because if I didn't pay it, the city could have put a lien on it. I paid all of that. I did all the shit by myself. I had to redo some electrical stuff because when I left there, the neighbors had came in and stole stuff. I stole like all the light fixtures, just, just all kind of craziness. And when they took it out, they didn't just unscrew them they ripped the shit out i had to pay an electrician to come in and redo all of that stuff when i sold the house i gave the sellers an eight thousand dollar credit so that's eight thousand dollars that came away no i gave them eleven thousand dollars because initially i had gave them a three thousand dollar credit and then when their inspection came back it was some stuff i fixed it was some stuff i wasn't going to fix so i gave them an additional eight thousand dollars so that was eleven thousand dollars that came out of my bottom line so when it when you talk about what i paid to get that house out of foreclosure you know what what i had to do with that the money from the city the money for the electrical work the foundation shit, the pest control, the money that I had to pay to get that house back livable when me and my children went back there. What I got from the sale of the house, plus what I did for him and his family, what I got from the sale of that house doesn't even begin to compensate me from all the money that I put out. It doesn't. He didn't help me with any of this stuff, left all this shit on my head, plus taking care of these kids by myself even though he lied about everything in the second video that i'm gonna put up there because i'm gonna just tell you guys this when we had let me tell y'all the date hold on of that conversation um because i'm gonna put the date 
in the video as well. But let me look through my phone and look through Damn Foo. Damn Foo. Because that's what his name is on my phone, guys. Damn Foo. And let me go to history. So, okay. September the 21st was the day that he started that bullshit. September 21st. Because um, we were supposed to close on the house um, that following week. And then their closing got pushed off because of something else that, that I had to fix at the house, which was more money. But, okay. So, but September 21st is when he started all this bullshit. I talked to him at 5.26 p.m. That motherfucker talk. Because when I, when I asked him why he had someone calling Jessica a lot and say all this stuff, that motherfucker told me to get the fuck off his phone and hung up on me. Hung up on me. And in my next video, because the conversations from that day, guys, it was just too much. Because we had another conversation that was 43 minutes and 29 seconds at 6.59 p.m. that day. That conversation made my head hurt and put my anxiety level all the way up here. When I have conversations with people, I don't scream and over talk people. The whole conversation I was screaming and over talking him. Or he was screaming and over talking me. I had to scream and over talk to get a word in. But you guys gonna see that video because that's gonna be the next video I'm gonna upload after this one. Because like I said, because I don't wanna play some snippets of the video here and there and then I have little trolls talking about I'm cutting and pasting so you guys can hear what I want you to hear. No, I'm going to let you hear the whole conversation because I don't have to lie about anything I say to him. And I may put a few of the snippets of it in this video as much as I can and as much as I can stomach because even listening to that conversation now makes my head hurt. Because in that video, I asked him if he was throwing a fit because he wanted money. He said no. I asked him um, because he said something about if I'm over it, if I'm okay, why am I still calling him a scammer on YouTube? I asked him several times, what did I say on my YouTube videos that I shouldn't have said? What did I lie about on my YouTube videos? And he changed the subject both times. He couldn't answer any other questions. We went through on how when we were there, how, because he, you know, he's always talking, I bought this house with my credit, blah, 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 blah. In the video that I'm going to play all the way through, you're going to hear me address that. I didn't address that in the 43 minute video on September 21st, but I addressed it in this video that I'm going to play all the way through today. So you're going to hear how I addressed that to close that out because he just tried to make it seem like he did so much shit for me and I didn't do anything for him because that's the lie he told to so many people. I may play a little snippet of the September 21st video, especially when it comes to my IVF process because he lied so bad about that. He participated in the whole process, but he lied about it. He lied about it. Told people I stole his damn sperm. That's how I got pregnant with the twins. I might put a little snippet of that in this video and in my next video, play the whole thing and let you guys hear it so you can hear what it is and what I'm dealing with. It's like he, even when, we, when I hit on in that conversation, why would you tell someone to call Jessica and tell all these lies and say you didn't sign the quick claim deed when you know you did. And he said, well, well, if you say I signed it. And I told him, no, not if I say you signed it. You signed it. You signed it. So why would you start all this drama? And his answer to that was because he didn't know what was going on. That's not how it works. When you sign, and then he tried to say it wasn't explained to him and all of this stuff. Because Lucky always tries to make it seem like, you know, he's from Nigeria, not the U.S. So he doesn't understand a lot of stuff because that's the way he lied. And I'm like, you understand. He likes to play that I don't understand game because I'm from Nigeria. I don't understand how American laws work. You understand. You understand. You just like to play those games. And that's something I was telling him in the video. Stop lying and acting like you don't understand stuff. You understand stuff more than me. Because you have your lies and your scams together. You understand shit more than me. Stop lying saying you don't understand things. Because he's real good at I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand when he does. So I touched on that. When it comes to my IVF process, I may put... 
some of that in here. I'm going to tell you guys, that was the part of that video that irked my nerves the most because I expect him to lie about what he did and how he scammed me. But when it comes to his children, I didn't expect him to lie about that. And then you talking to me lying when we were the two that were there. We were the two that did the whole process. I know you're lying. So are you really on this phone with me lying? Because he kept trying to ask me, where do we go? And I was trying to get him to, to because I kept saying, were you not there? Because I wanted him to admit to being there. Because he told so many lies. He didn't go. He didn't participate in the process. He didn't sign anything. He didn't provide his sperm. These are the lies that he told to everyone that he's been telling for years. So I was trying to get him to, to admit, you know, that he was there. So I kept saying, were you not there? Were you not there? Are you telling me that you were not there? That you did not participate in this? That you did not? So, but he just kept talking around, talking around. I may put some of those clips in here if it doesn't aggravate me to do that. <laughs> but it's, y'all, it's crazy. You know, I, you know, we touched, I touched a little on how he scammed me. And he didn't say he didn't because I said, you came here, you pretended to love me, you pretended to want to be married, and you treated me like shit, you used me. He didn't say Constance, I ain't do that. I would never do that. That's not how it was. I'm sorry it seemed that way. Nothing. He laughed. He laughed. Because he know what he did. But in the clip that I'm going to play their entire video, it is like, I think it's like 20, a 20 some minute conversation. I'm going to play the entire clip. And then, like I said, in my next video, I'm going to do the one before that so you guys can hear i'm gonna play the clip with me asking him why he had whoever he had called jessica called jess or whether it was christopher or whoever and he told me to get the fuck off the phone and hung up in my face i'm gonna play that one in the next video because i just i just don't want this video to be two hours long i'm not gonna ask you guys to watch a two hour long video because it was actually over that the video was over two hours long it was almost three hours long until i cut some out and i'm just not gonna do that i'm gonna break it down um so you guys can see who i was dealing with and what i'm dealing with now so in this um video that i'm gonna play the whole clip through it was 20 some minutes hold on i picked up my phone to tell you guys um it was 20 some minutes let me see how many minutes it was and i'm gonna play that whole clip through where you guys can hear his ass begging me for money um what it, i think it was 26 minutes and 51 seconds yeah where you can hear him begging me for money <laughs> where you can hear me telling him you left everything dumped on my head um, oh, and, and in this and in this video, you can you can definitely tell that he was getting frustrated, but he had to keep his cool. He couldn't be who he has been the whole time because in the video, I told him every time we have talked, you've been until now because you want money. You have been talking shit to me, and you've been disrespectful every single conversation. And he couldn't deny it because it's the truth. You know, he denied talking to me. Because he wanted money, but you haven't been talking to me prior to saying anything. In this video, you know, he even, you know, said I was ambitious and all this stuff, giving me like, you know, praises or whatever, if that's what you want to call it, because you want money. But any other time he's talked about me, you know, he's told people that. I lived off the government um, and that I lived off child support and that I lived off food stamps. And let me just 
Because I'm real honest, y'all. I'm an open book. I don't give a fuck about that. The time that I was with him, I was receiving $56 in child support. Because I never did a three-year yearly reviews. I received $56 in child support for years until I took my older kid's dad off of child support. It wasn't even a need. So he doesn't even pay child support anymore. Um... When it comes, because he told people I lived off of tax refunds. My refunds were be like, because I always worked. So I never got those. And I've always made well over minimum wage, even before I own my own business. So I never got those ten, fifteen, eighteen thousand dollar $18,000 tax refund checks. I never received those. My tax refund checks used to be anywhere between two and $4,000. I've always lived where my rent was at least eight to nine hundred to eleven hundred dollars before I purchased my home. Two, three months rent plus my car note. I've I've always had a vehicle. My vehicle car note has always been at least three, four hundred dollars. Two, three months rent, two, three car notes. That's all of the tax refund. And then he said I live off the government food stamps. I only receive food stamps when we were in the midst of COVID and the government was giving everybody with children in school food stamps because these children were home from school. And then with my babies, that just shot it up there. So I received food stamps when everyone was receiving them. The P, EBT, or whatever you call it because of COVID, yeah, the pandemic EBT. I wasn't even with him then. When we were together, I didn't receive food stamps. I made too much money. And then with our income together, we brought in over $100,000 a year. There were no food stamps in that home. But that's what he told people. He talked so negative about me to people. But then I'm ambitious because, you know, I told him, yeah, you know me. So you know I was going to make it happen for me and my kids, pretty much. I mean, he goes, yeah, you've always been ambitious, blah, 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 blah. But that's not what you would say about me to people. I saw what you said about me to people. When you were speaking to people and texting with people on platforms and things that you never thought I would see when I saw what you really felt about me and my children in that cell phone. But now he wants money, guys. So I'm going to just stop talking. I'm going to roll this video. I may play a little snippet of the other video so you guys will know what's coming in this next upload. I may play a few snippets of that, um, but I'm going to play the whole video of him begging me for money after you did all that you did, but you begging me for money. That shit is crazy after he did all that he did. And that's the thing. He never expected me to be who I am and what I am and how I am with him. He always expected to be in a position where he could use me and overtalk me and mistreat me and me just fall in line with it. Yeah. Be careful how you treat people. Because you never know when you may want or need something from them. But you know what? He begging me for money. When I did this video, I'm going to keep my original um, closing to this video. How I closed the video out. I'm going to keep the original closing of that. So, you want to know what you can do to get some money from me? Because I'm going to just be honest. <laughs> the money that I got from the closing of this house is still sitting in my bank account. I, uh, from the closing of the house that I sold. I didn't have to use one penny of it for this house. For nothing that I purchased so far. For my vehicle. For anything. I purchased, and, and it's not to brag. But it's just to show how good God has been to me and my business and my children since I have been obedient and got away from that. This house cost me $325,000. I didn't use one penny to buy this home of the money that I received from closing of that house. My new vehicle. Y'all know what Nissan Amarda's cost. I got a 2023. That's a $65,000 vehicle parked outside in my yard. 
my monthly payment is zero damn dollars and zero cents. I have the title to my damn vehicle. Zero dollars, zero cents. I didn't use one penny of it to purchase that vehicle. You know why? Because I go out and I grind and I work my ass off. I work 18 to 24 hour days sometimes. I'm not out here begging or scamming people or doing anything I don't supposed to do. I work. That's why God blesses me. I'm living in a $325 damn thousand dollar home, but I only have a $50,000 mortgage. That's how God bless me. And God is going to continue to bless me because of who I am and how I live my life and how I treat people. I'm going to continue to be blessed. It's just what it is. You miss this blessing because of who you are. <laughs> but if you, you want to know what you can do to get money from me, watch the end of this video. Because I told you what you can do to get money from me in my closing out of this video. So watch the end. I'm going to stop talking, guys. And I'm going to roll through the video. I'm going to play that clip. And I may throw in a few clips of so you guys can see what my next video in this series is going to be. Be careful. Stand your ground. It's all fake. It's all fake. I may end up dropping a video in this series every week of the conversations from start to finish that I have with him. Because I've recorded every conversation that I've had with him since we split. Every single one. Every single one. Almost three years ago, I recorded every conversation. I ain't lose none of that footage because as soon as I record it, I put them Sims cards where they go. Or SD cards, excuse me, y'all. I put them where they go. I have all that footage. I could drop a video every week and show you how this clown was talking to me like I was a dog in the street. Like I saved, like he saved me from living in my mom's house, sharing a room with my brother sharing clothes with my brother, sleeping on a dirt floor on a two inch mattress. Cause that's what I saved him from. But he's talking to me like he saved me from that. You know. So, there's so much stuff I can say, but I, I can, I may start dropping a video in this series every week to show you guys what I live through. That's why I talk how I talk and I move how I move. Because I deserve everything I have. Because I worked my ass off for it. And I didn't have to lie to anybody, scam anybody, use anybody, or cheat anybody to get it. I worked my ass off. I put those hours in. So I'm going to always be constant. And I'm going to always move how I move. And move how I want to move. Because God is going to allow me to. So let me play these clips for y'all. As y'all know from my previous video, I sold this house, um, guys, um, and I only have a few days left in this house. Now, I already let y'all see how my ex was talking shit, laughing, and I mean, and I, I don't care, but let me just show y'all the game and how that all changes when they want something from you, and I ain't got no clothes on guys but it is what it is I'm sorry um, but let me show you how that all changes when they want something from you I sold the house now he's not entitled to any of the proceeds from the sale of the house because he signed a quick claim deed um, in January like January 21st um, but now he's being nice and apologetic excuse me and apologetic and worried and concerned about my children and I because he wants me to find it in my heart to give him money from the sale of the house. Um, we just had a conversation not too long ago and I told him because he was like, he can send me his account Your number. Your friend is attempting to reach you. He told me he could send me his account number or I can meet him somewhere. And I told him I'm never gonna meet him anywhere because how he tried to lie on me last time and said that I was doing things to him that I wasn't doing. So he's not going to put me in a situation and said I did or said anything to him that I didn't say or do 
to put me and my children in the situation and I told him I was not taking his banking account information to to send no money to or put no money in because I don't trust him not to lie and say I tried to do whatever in his bank account because he's lied so much so he was like you can just take it to my attorney's office and blah 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 after he said all these things I don't want no money I don't need no money I want you and the kids to be okay but guys it's all about money and then he gave this little thick ass apology I'm sorry for what I did I, I just didn't know what to do I'm in this country by myself and a bunch of shit hold on y'all hey what's up Hey guys, I'm sorry about that. I was talking to my friend. But, um, and I should have let you guys hear some of that conversation because I told her that he is asking me for money now. And she was like, but he just said, you know, he told you because when I talked to him, I recorded, but during this time, during this conversation when I was talking to him, I recorded it, but I was with her, so she heard him. But she said, he said he was fine. He didn't want to need money, but it's all a lie. He's just being nice and, apolog and apologetic right now because he wants money. That's all, y'all. That's all. He wants money. And it's crazy. But hold on. Wait a minute. I'm going to call him and let y'all hear this conversation because he called me back earlier and I didn't answer. And then he texted me. Um, and ask me to call him when I'm free. So let me call him back. Hold on. Let y'all hear this. I'm gonna pull the Hello? Hello? Hey, Costa. Yeah, what's going on? Yeah, I was just, I was just thinking. Like, I mean, I mean, if you want me, I can meet you in the back. We just say if you want that. You like get get into my lawyer. I don't really just want anybody involved in us, like anything else since it's done. Why you don't That's want nobody I, involved now? This the, the whole time you wanted everybody involved, but now you don't want nobody involved. See, I've been I've been I've been cool with you for a minute now. Like everything just okay. Things is, things has happened and things is done. Right, we both, you know, nothing much to be explaining again. Like, we cut you a check, it's, it's already, like, things is done. Why can't you just, you know, I, I can't, I mean, it, bank is safe too. I was just saying, I can go with whatever flow you want, like, how you want it still, though. But I'm just saying, like, it's, 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 no, it's no bad way to still meet you there. I mean, whatever bank you want. Okay. Because I'm. Not good. Huh? Okay. Because, because no, because I'm just, I'm just confused. Because when I asked you before if you wanted money, you said no, but but now you do. So. Okay. I mean, I mean but but come to think of it, Constance, he's only said that he gave me something. Come on now, you know that. I said I I said what. I said, come on, it's only fair you give me something. You know that. How, you know, you know. Huh? And I, I'm just asking a question. How do you think that's fair? You dumped everything on me and didn't care. My... Not no, but I'm just I'm just being honest. You did. Let's let's have it. You said you want to be honest and have an honest conversation. You don't you know, everything you know, you know, on you know, me. When, when when things when things happen, I requested like let's just sell it. That was the first thing I said. Like let's sell it. You know, like let's just sell it. And even and even then and even then when you even then when you said. Let's just sell it in the beginning. You said you take whatever. I don't want anything. But and and, and, I, and I'm listening to what you're saying. But you literally dumped every single thing on me. Every so single like, thing. When, 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 you when, didn't you didn't when, help me when, with when anything. I, when, when when everything happened between us, I'm not in the house no more. 
what did I tell you? You know I'm not, I, I, this is not my country. I'm trying to stand for myself. I got to pay this. I understand you got to pay too. But the best solution I could come out is let's see the house and you can do whatever you want to do, like try to get some place. I know that was the, that but, was what I was telling you then. But no, you keep on that's, to that's, still stay in the creep. Lucky, let's stop telling lies. Cause that's not how the conversations between us were going you were very rude and you were very disrespectful and that's not what you were saying really and and, and yes really? really i mean it's been really? it's been this long and i don't understand why you even have to lie anymore it doesn't even matter lie what you still saying i'm lying it, like, about what? Be, be, because it, it it doesn't even matter things What's, happen things what? happen they did it, right. it did what it did but my thing is i don't understand right understand how what? how you want me to give you money when you dumped every single responsibility on me Costas. Really? Yeah. Dump all responsibility? Lucky you dump you, every do, responsibility do, do, do you, do you know? Do you know you decided want to stay in that house? You decided. When I was telling you let's sell this house, I was begging you for almost a year. Let's sell it. You refused to sell it. What do you want me to do? What else do you want me to do? Where else do you want me to get money what? to fulfill that? Whether I Wait. sold it or not when you when you initially asked whether i did or not you know how the conversations were going you know how they were so there was going Costa, to be no so way, there was going no to be let you be in the street with your kid. There is no you way. know you want it that's lucky come on now we are we are beyond that but you know me and so you know i'ma always do what i have to do for my children and i'ma always land know, on my feet so you so so you know, know better you but so you know, know better than that you are. I so, know, but. but you know better than that and you know everything i did by myself Every ever dollar, since, every ever dollar that had, that house, every dollar since, that I had to put into everything, I, I paid I by ever, myself. Ever, ever since I left that house, it wasn't easy standing to a point. Going to school, going to class, going to this, it was tough. Okay. All right. I know it was tough to you, right? But how well do you but want at least to you, at least things? you just had yourself. I had myself and children to fend for. I had nobody yet. I didn't have anybody either, Lucky. That's what you 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 you, no, you, 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 you look you look had, you claim no no you claim you talk to my family so much, you've talked so much shit about me to them. You know I don't talk to them. And you uh, see, and you and you are the main see, reason with, I with, don't with, deal with them. With, with your so, family, so we with know family, that they, they so so, so you know so you know that I didn't have anybody either. It was either sink or swim for me. Okay. And I had to do everything by myself with these children. Every single thing. I had to pick myself back up from the hole I was in because I trusted okay. you. I was in the hole too. When I, when I was in my house, when you put my stuff in the door, when I picked my stuff, I was in the hole too. Well. I was in the old too. You think it was easy for me for somebody without family? You 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 left everything on my shoulders. Every I was single on thing. The street when you pull my stuff. When I you was my not in the, the street. Car. You was around the corner at your friend's house. And you think I was happy? But then? you but you but you but you told everybody and you, you was in the street. And you had everybody thinking I, I put was, you in the street. I was on the street. No, you wasn't. Until he picked me up. You was at your I friend's was. house. You didn't spend one night on the street, Lucky. Not one. Anyway, and, and we both know we, it. We, anyway, I didn't, I didn't want us to be going back and forth. We're, we're not going back and forth. We're having a conversation because my thing is you want. Thank you so much. My thing is you want. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I know oh, them steps are a lot. Oh, oh. <laughs> I had, I've had both needs replaced this year. Oh, get this. So like, oh. Watch that. All right. Thank you, honey. Have a good day. So. But like I said, there there is no going back and forth. It's a real conversation. You left everything on me and you didn't help me with one thing. You knew I had children 
and you did not give a damn. You didn't give a damn about what you did to me and you didn't give a damn about what you did to them. And the only reason, and let's just be honest, the only reason, Lucky, the only, the only reason you are being decent right now is because you want money. If you didn't want money, you would still be talking shit to me. Lucky, when you called me initially, when you, when, no, not when you called me, when I called you to talk, to talk about what, um, you know, you had that man call and say to Jessica, you straight start talking shit to me from the beginning of the conversation. Like it's, because because it's, it's, I, I, would, I would still be happening on my back and I don't know what's going on. And my own mortgage is telling me, lucky you're in the deed of trust, everything is still in your name, you're X, Y, and Z. And the, the next thing is, my name is not on it, somebody is selling the house. I was like, what's going on? Nobody passing information to me. Lawyer ain't giving me the right information. You giving me different information. Jessica, but, everybody giving me different information. But, what do you want me to do? But, but it was, it was, and you went into your lawyer's office and you signed that quick claim deed and, deed and what they did with it had nothing to do with me. But, they but they see, know they know what they like, they know like what they know saying, what they like did what with that saying, deed. They know exactly what they did. Like what but I'm saying, everything but, was misinformation with everybody giving me because I was not see and it was but it wasn't we my job. To, like good term, no, we're right? still talking in a good term, but no, it wasn't no, my no, job no, 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 to no, give no, no, you no. any we, information. We were not, we were not on the understanding of good term when conversating ever since for a long time, and that you know. All right, so it's and ever since you put me i went to court i had to pay for lawyers and all those things and you think i was happy if you if things have been happening like that how do you want me to expect things how hold on hold on because i think this is the um attorney from um when i when we sold the house hold on hello hello Hello. Never mind, that one down. Yeah, so Okay. So what's up? What you, I mean, all right, what do you want me to say? I don't want you to say nothing. Right, because. I don't the fact that you're telling me that I'm having a cool conversation with you because of money, that's not cool. Yeah, it, it but but it's the truth. That, that's, it, that's you not know, cool. it's not cool, but it's the truth. Constant, to be honest, right? Because every like every this? single time I've honest, every single time regardless of how things go, right? <laughs> if, regardless of how things go, is my name on the house and you're part of the deed of trust, right? Regardless of how things go, right? If there is no house, how would the life I still be? Regardless of how things go, there is something to still live for. So rather than even making it look like I leave everything on you all because the time, you did. keep saying that. Because okay, you did. fine. But but when you pull my stuff, it's, it's to not the door, fine. I, you pull me outside. You, you pull me out of the house. You put yourself outside. You keep saying that. You did. Because you, know you, you were not behaving like you, a married you, man. You, and you, you, you were not you behaving really? like a married man. And you were very do you disrespectful. Want be, do, you want to, you do, you want to talk, do you want to be talking to me like this, recording me or it's what? It's the truth. What are you doing? It's the truth. I'm, I'm just telling you the truth. And and you know it. And, and it, what baffles me is that you know what happened between us. You know what you did. And you will talk to me like... I'm telling a lie like I imagined something. Like I didn't live with you. You know what you did. You know, and, you and, we, call, and we you both always, know. You never call, always call me out for what I did. You're always telling me I did something. And we if both know. Me, if you're telling me I did something, they'd be calling me out for what I did rather than saying I did something. What did I do? Lucky you, you, you have, you have common sense. You, you know exactly what you, you see, did. You see, that's, but my that's thing, one thing, you, that's one thing. Me and you are not know, always agreeing on because you always tell me I don't have, have to agree. Common sense. We don't have, you have to, to agree. You have to be specific about what you always saying I'm doing to you. I don't have to be specific, specific because you know exactly that's, what that's you're unfair. doing. Because you're if I'm grown telling man. you you did something to me, I'm telling you being specific, like this is X, Y, and Z. Lucky you're a grown That's man. How grown people have a direct way of saying being specific and, and I say what it. you're saying. And I say it. And you were a grown man. You just pretend that you don't understand. You there a grown you man. You yeah, know what you, you do. Go. And there it is go. what it is. But we both know every time we've talked before now. 
you didn't want anything you didn't need anything so you've been very disrespectful if you didn't want money right now you would still be very disrespectful you can play those games with somebody who don't know you and somebody whose eyes are not open to who you are but my eyes are wide open and i know who and what i'm dealing with and wow. that's and that's just what it is you dumped everything on my head wow. and you left and then not only Constance, did you do that because be before, I even, before I even before I even before I even open lucky before I even opened my mouth and said anything on YouTube or whatever about anything that you done and anything that we went through in our marriage you was talking shit about me to everybody and I was sick of it. There, yes, you were. They told, they told me. They told me. They told me. They told me. And you know, and you know, you know, you know, believe you. You know, you know, the problem, the problem is, I don't know where you're getting stuff from. You know that what you say. One. And secondly, glad I'm always being, well, being quiet about when I just hear things and all that. You, like, you're you not know, being quiet. You wasn't quiet because if you were quiet, I never would have <sighs> opened my mouth. You were never I really quiet. Call you for no, I it's fine. I'm, I'm not. Issues. There's not a back and forth, and there's not an argument. Okay. I am because smiling, and I am okay, and I am fine. Um, but which the fact, is what I'm happy for. but the fact of the matter is, you you say you happy, but are you really? Are you really? Oh, sorry, are, you, you, are you really you, happy you that I'm okay? I'm not happy, you happy? Are you, are you really? Okay? Are you really you happy that I'm okay? Hell no. Yeah. No, I don't think you're happy okay. because when I was married to you, you wasn't happy when I was okay. So, no, I don't think you're happy that I'm okay. But it's, it is what it is. I'm going to think about what I'm going to do and I'll let you know. Are you really going to think about what I'm going to think about what I'm going to do. I right, have I, 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 I have I have children and that I am their main parent. What's up, man? So what, what do you mean by you gonna think about what I'm gonna think do? about so what you, I'm gonna do. Cause I'm so cause cause I cause I can tell you because I can tell you right now I am never going to meet you anywhere on purpose. I'm never gonna do that. I'm not so on purpose. Okay. I don't want I don't okay. want I don't want to be in the same space as you. I'm never gonna meet All you right. anywhere on purpose. So do you still so do you want to just give my lawyer then John on the, the one with that we've been going back and forth with the the same lawyer? Whatever. Do you want to? I think about it. I'll see what I'm gonna do. I'm I'm gonna talk to I'm gonna talk to my realtor first and I'm gonna talk to my mortgage broker for my new house to make sure I have everything that I need. So you saying that you're not gonna give me anything? That's it. I said I'm going to talk to my mortgage broker for my new house and make sure I have everything that I need, cause I am trying to buy my new house cash without having a mortgage payment. I don't want to have a mortgage payment. So I saved money and I'm using some of this money and I'm gonna make sure I have everything I need before. I say I'm gonna do anything else. I'm gonna make sure my kids so, are okay. So, so when will that be? I'll let when, you know. Is, I'll let you when, know. When when will you let me know? I'll let you know. Is it this? Is it this week? You're not saying anything. I don't know if it's this week. I ha I have to I, move. This this mean, this Constance? this this house is sold. This house no longer. I, mean, I can't stay here. These new owners are Constance, are coming they here. You a check yeah. already. It it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So. But 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 I still have to pay. I have to pay somebody to move me. I have to pay to get to my new house. I have to pay for furniture for my new house. Constance, it's only fair give me something out of that money. It's fair. Don't don't say that. Now now you now they've cut a check for you. No 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 no. I'm I'm not putting you on nothing because when we discussed this initially, and I asked you if you wanted money, you said no. So now you're saying you want money. You initially said no. So you saying you're not gonna give me any money? Didn't you tell me you you told me you didn't want money initially? I asked you. It's only fair you give me money. I oh, asked man. you. You know. So and now you're not even giving me time when you're gonna call me back. You because I because I don't me. know when I'm gonna call you back. I might not call you back. I might text you. But they cut you a check already. You have everything you need right now, like. And 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 I and I still have to spend money. I have to spend money to move. 
I have to spend money for furniture for my new house. I have to pay taxes. I have to pay insurance. I still have to spend money. I, and, and, and doing uh, that, I still have to take care of my children to make sure they're okay. Costa, I, I mean, come on, man. You, you give me some out of it, man. Don't do that. No, don't come you on. do that. Because you told it's me you didn't want any money. Costa, it's only fair you give me something. Did, did, you, did you not tell me? I don't me, have to. Did you not tell okay. me you didn't want money? Did you not tell now, me that less than less than two weeks ago? Just wanna, now they cut you a check. You have to just say something. Less than two weeks now, ago, right? less than two weeks ago, I asked you. I said, "Are you having a fit about money? Is that what you, you want? Know, you money? You know, I I need money. You know. I don't know you need money. I don't talk you to you. You know, I need money. How do you I know, know that? What's going on between us? You know no, I, I don't. No, I don't. They, oh, there is but nothing I going on between money. us. Right, there, you know I need money. There is nothing going on between us, so I don't know because, what you need. Because if I because if I tell if I tell you I need money on X Y Z, you'd be thinking everything is about money. Because it why is. That's I said what I Cause, said. Because with 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 yeah, because with money. with you, lucky the whole thing has been about money. You drained uh, me when we were together. Let's just talk about it. It's the truth. You you can speak on it. You drained me, and you didn't care. <laughs> You didn't give a damn, and that's crazy. I was, I was, I was married the, to my the, damn the enemy. House, the <laughs> house, the house, the house, your, the house, your ex-husband, which is lucky, right? I to like buy with his own credit, and you part of the deed of trust, and now it's done. You keep saying that, but lucky, why did you have credit? Your credit didn't start till I gave you money to get that first credit card. Until and then, until I gave you money to put down on your car payment, you don't remember we were sitting in the bank and you needed three and you needed three hundred dollars to why, put down on your first why, credit card. Why, why, why are we having? Because because you keep throwing that to me. Because you keep throwing that to me like I like I didn't question. do like you keep throwing that like I didn't do my job as your wife to make sure that you were okay, even though you didn't do your job as my husband to make sure I was okay. You see, you see, I don't I don't think it's fair for you to keep saying you did everything and i didn't do nothing lucky that's I did. not fair lucky that's it's not fair with what you're saying lucky it's, you know not it's not fair, fair. it's not you fair but it's the for truth what I did and you take credit for what you did there's lucky, nothing about lucky it's not fair but it's the truth I was okay. put in I was no put problem. in positions Please. when we no, were no, married no, no, no. no but it's I was okay. put in positions since okay. when so we were married that I never should have been in that I never should have been in and I was put in those positions by my husband Tell me what you want to do now. See I told you once, okay. once I see what where every, once I see where everything is, I'll text you. I'm not gonna tell you an sure. amount. I'm not gonna tell you a date or anything because I have to make sure at the end of the day that my kids have everything they need, and that's what I'm going to do. Cause I am the only person who takes care of these kids. Me. So you're not giving me no date or anything. You're gonna reach out. To you. Say what? Is that, is, you're not giving me any date or time. You're gonna reach out to me. I think that's fair. No, I'm. I'm not gonna tell you because I, I. I don't know when I'm gonna text you. I know I'm not gonna call you. I'm gonna text you. I can't tell you that. And I do think it's fair. It's. It's very fair based on everything that I've lived through. It's very fair. One thing I learned from you that you taught me is how to be very selfish. Because you were selfish the whole time. And you've taught me how to be selfish. And I'm going to be. So it's very fair. It's very fair. So when I make sure my kids are okay, I'll text you. No, I don't know a date to give you. I don't know a date to give you. I don't know a date. Okay, so um, so the mortgage have been cut their check and everything. Is yeah, over, they right? should they should they should have the money wired to them. Well, shit. Hopefully within the next forty eight hours. That's how it works. So that should be done. They 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 have what they need. All that should be done. So that's that, that's not a big deal. That's done. So you said you're gonna text me whenever. Yeah, when I make sure my kids are okay and I got everything I need. So I can't give you a date. So what was the text going to be all about? Because you said you don't want to meet me anyway. So what's the, what's the content? What, 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 what am I expecting? What my plan is. That's what it's going to be. 
What's the plan? Like I plan tell, you, I tell you when I text is it you. Plan, is it a plan of you not giving me money or what plan? Whatever the whatever the plan is, that's what the text to say. I get it. Is the plan for you not to give me anything? Rather than rather than keeping me like you are gonna text me. Okay, I'm not gonna give you money. Like it's totally fair. You be honest with me, right? I'm now. being what honest. Unlike you, I'm being very honest. I am going to make sure. No, that's that fine. That every single sure that thing. Pay, like I said, you're gonna make sure you know, whatever you wanna pay. And, I, pay and I'm gonna make sure I and I'm gonna make sure I have everything right. that I need to right. have in my house. And right. then after all of that is done, I'm gonna look at what's left, and then we'll have a conversation about it. That's it. Well, is it not fair enough to like say, Lucky, I'm gonna like check this out this week? and reach out to you next week like you just putting it out there like lucky no because i because 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 i i doubt if i would be finished with everything next week i have to move i have to buy all new furniture but costa i got needs too well i got needs too why are you why are you sound you work like don't you too. you work i got needs too you work you work and you a single man. If I was a single woman who worked, <laughs> ain't no excuse. I work my ass off. I grind all day, every day. I work 18 to 20 hours some days. And I don't I complain. Don't well, you work. You work. And 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 I'm and I'm I'm just being honest. Your needs are not my concern. My children's needs are my concern. So I'm gonna make I'm gonna make sure that they are 100% okay. First, that's it. So you you're saying you're not gonna give me anything? You heard what I said. Now you can make that be whatever you want it to be. I was very I'm just, clear. I'm, just I'm I'm being very clear about what I'm saying. Now you can interpret it any other way that you want to interpret it, but I'm telling you what it is. I'm just asking. I answered your question. Because you're not giving me a direct answer. I'm giving you the answer that I have. Because what you're saying is if the house, you want to buy whatever furniture, your keys and everything is done. And so what you're saying is if there's nothing left, I'm not going to have anything. Is I, that what you're saying? I gave you an answer. It may not be the answer you want, but I gave you an answer. So if there's nothing left after you buy your furniture and everything, you're not gonna give me anything. I gave you an answer. Which is? I gave you an answer. Now you you can interpret it and make it whatever you want it to be, but I already told you what I'm it is. Not interpreting you are. Anything. You are. So I like said I told you. I told right. you. I told you exactly what I'm going to do. Now you're going with the what if this, what if this, what if this. That is your choice but i told you exactly what i'm going to do nothing more nothing less that's what i'm gonna do so you wanna um, check it out check it and make sure everybody and your kids are good before you're gonna call me and see what's left and we're gonna see what we can do with it i said i'll text you and we'll go from there because there's no need for me to really have conversations with you so i'll text you and we'll go from there that's it. Okay. 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 Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see that. Real humble. And it's all about money. That's all he wants. If he didn't want money, there would be no conversation. And if there was a conversation, it would be a very, very, very disrespectful conversation <laughs> y'all don't fall into it don't fall into it because any other time that I talk to him he's very disrespectful but now he has needs and he needs money he probably has a wife somewhere in Nigeria that he's trying to get to the US or a little girlfriend that he has here or he probably went somewhere and made some more babies because he don't take care of the ones here so child whatever but I'll be back sometimes in this video, guys. Let me go and finish um, 
getting all my stuff together, y'all. Because I got so much stuff to do. Okay, guys, I'm sitting here editing this video, and I, I'm going to put this little clip in before I close this video out. Um, Y'all heard the clips, and I've decided as I'm editing, because if I keep this video as is, this video is going to be over two hours long. I don't want to do that. I'm not going to sit and watch a two hour long video. So I'm not going to ask you guys to sit and watch a two hour long video. I'm going to take some of the clips out and I may add them in another video at another time. You know, in this series, you know, um, how I survived a marriage scam, you know, I may do that. Um, the clips that I'm really focusing on in this video are going to be my last conversation that I had with him about the money, um, little clips with me discussing how he scammed me and what he did, and clips talking about um, my IVF process um, and my children. You know, that's, that's the most important thing, guys, because he lied so bad when it came to my IVF process. He lied so bad. So bad. And you know, you have to ask yourself what type of person and I understand, you know, telling little white lies and 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 little lies that don't mean shit and lying about everything else that you did. But who lies about their children? Who I like who does that? And I saw I was sitting here and I was thinking, I said, you know what? You know what? Yeah. I give your ass a small portion of the money that I got from receipt from selling this house on one condition. On one condition, even though I don't have to give you anything because on January 21st of this year, he signed a quick claim deed, deeding all of his rights to this home over to me. Nothing that I do, nothing that I did here from that point was any of his business. Um, <laughs> nothing that I decided to do with this home from this point, you know, from that point was none of his business. But yeah, let me discuss what it'll take for me to give him a portion of what I received from selling this house. Own up to your shit. Be a man about it. Tell the truth about what you did to my children and I. Guys, before I opened my mouth and said anything on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, um, TikTok, on social media, period, about what he had done to me and my children, his disrespect for me was so loud and so public all over social media because he put it there. I had friends and families, family members calling me about so much stuff. You know, he, one of the first things he posted on social media, um, he took a lady out to eat at Red Lobster. In the video, he didn't show her face. He put this on Instagram. One of my family members saw it and sent it to me. Well, a lot of them saw it, but one sent it to me. And then I got like call after call after call. But in this video, and I don't know if they said he put it on Facebook because at that point when they would start calling me, when I saw it, I went and unfriended him and I blocked him on Facebook. We were still married. He had not been gone from this house for seven days. <laughs> we were still talking some, but he was being rude and nasty and very disrespectful to me. He took a lady out to Red Lobster to eat. And from how their conversation was and from what he wrote like as a description with the 
you know, with the video that was not their first time going out. Um, he wrote in a description that um, she was a waitress and that they were introduced by his friends. You know, some of his friends had introduced them. You know, she was advising him on what he should eat and just the whole vibe of it. I can tell when I saw it that was not his first time going out with her. He didn't show her face, but her voice was in the background. She was talking, ordering his food for him. You know, and the way that he was looking at her in this video, I can tell they had already had a relationship well before then. Another video he posted all over social media, you know, was several videos, um, them at other restaurants and these videos he never showed her in any of the videos that was the only video he let her voice be heard but you know them out eating brunch you know drinking mimosas and stuff them at restaurants in the evening eating sushi and steak and all other kind of stuff you know them traveling together um you know out by a pool um he's doing videos there he wouldn't show her but he showed her belongings like her shoes her bathing suit cover up that, that she left on the chair while she was going to wherever she was um he was posting videos him taking trips to iowa with his friend christopher that's where the real estate broker lives his um so and then they went to las vegas he's showing him in vegas with his hands all over women asses taking pictures and stuff like that and he did this for a while, just photo after photo, disrespect after disrespect. Disrespect was very loud, very loud. He posted a video with him in this woman's house, and you can hear her in the background. You know she was cooking. He was sitting at the Allen showing some gifts that um, she purchased him. The disrespect was real loud, real loud. Everyone seen it. Even when I had conversations with him, you know, and this is one of the things that really, because I said, you know, some, some things you can say, fuck it. But when it comes to my children, guys, and I'm not going to go into a lot of details about it because I'm not going to give you details about my children on social media when you should have been there. When I gave birth to them, when they were in the NICU, the scaredest time of my life that was one of the most hardest times of my adult life guys I could hold my babies in the palm of my hands that's how small they was me communicating with him telling him when they were born how much they weighed what's going on with them you know in the NICU telling him one of us needs to be there with them at all times we don't have to be there together. I'm not asking for us to be there together. You know, I work around your work schedule. Tell me when you could be there um, and I won't be there then. I'll be there when you can't be there. This dude basically told me that was my problem and to get out this house. That's, that is what his response was. When I was talking to him about them, now he wonders why I don't post shit all over social media because he said that um, I posted them on TikTok. Tell me the TikTok I posted my kids on. First of all, why are you even on my TikTok? But tell me the TikTok I posted them on because I've never posted them anywhere on TikTok. So, but, you know, I'm telling him about them because he told so many lies and I could tell when I'm talking to him I record all the conversations and I play them back ever since we separated every time I've ever spoken to him I record the conversation I have over 15 sims cars full of me well SD cars not sims cars whatever you want to call them SD cars but I have and they're full of conversations with me and him since we separated i don't talk to him unless i'm recording the conversations that's why this video was so long but i'm gonna just focus on the three things that i told you guys about but 
he's told so many lies when it comes to them, when it comes to their IVF, pro IVF process, like even knowing about anything when he participated in this stuff. What type of person, and like I said, I can understand about lying about certain things, but what type of person lies when it comes to their children? Who does that? So my thing is this, you want a portion of the money? Tell the truth about what you did. Make your Apollo lie because he, it's not an apology. It's an Apollo lie because he's lying. But anyway, make your Apollo lie as loud as you made your disrespect. Make it as loud as you made your disrespect because your disrespect was everywhere. Everyone saw it. Make your Apollo lie that loud. And actually apologize to my children for what you put them through. Because I'm an adult. And you're an adult. And you knew better. You knew exactly what you was doing. Apologize to my children. And make it as loud as your disrespect was. Apologize to my children. For how you spoke to them. Apologize to Jayla and Nadia. For having a conversation with them. And telling them that. The twins did not belong to you. And pretty much telling them. That I was a whore. And I cheated on you and got pregnant. Apologize to my daughters for telling them that. I recorded that conversation. I recorded that conversation. Apologize. They knew you were lying. That, and, and that conversation, Jayla was like, I never talked to him again because who lies? My kids knew everything anyway. They even knew things that I didn't know that they knew. But they knew. They're very intelligent. Apologize for that. Apologize to Nadia for her loving you the way she did and giving you a chance the way she did and you taking her to take pictures for you and posting them on social media and on dating websites saying that you were single and then coming back here to me apologize for her to her for being at a park with her with her playing with her friends and you out there flirting with her friends mom apologize to her for her looking on her social media for her looking on social media on your social media pages and seeing you out doing things with this lady that you refused to do with us because you said you didn't like those kind of places and didn't like doing those kind of things apologize for her seeing that apologize to Camion for him seeing the way you treated his mother. For him not being able to look up to you like a young man should look up to someone who you who should be his father figure. Apologize to Cam for that. Apologize to your twins for lying about everything when it comes to their lives. Apologize. You can't tell the world anything about these little boys. The color of their skin. The color of their eyes. How their voices sound. Do they have hair? Do they don't have hair? Or did I cut it? Am I letting their hair grow long like Kimmy's? Do they have little ponytails? Or do they have little low cuts? What are their favorite things to do? What was their first word? Apologize to them for not knowing any aspect about nothing that's going on with them because I don't post it on social media because you won't get to know them there. And apologize to them for just lying about their entire existence. When you participated in the process, you knew exactly what was going on and you lied about everything. And now you're coming back trying to be respectful because you want money. Just being selfish. Dump everything on my head. Didn't give a damn. Don't give a damn now. You're just thinking about you and yourself. When I had to struggle and pick myself back up from a hole that I was put in because of who my husband was. The person who was supposed to have my back and protect me from everything. But you caused bad shit to happen to me. Apologize to my children because I know you. I know you. So I don't give a damn which way or another. But apologize to them. Make your apology just as loud as you made your disrespect. 
make it just as loud as you made your disrespect. And then we can discuss money. Because that's all you want. That's all you want. That's all you ever wanted. And then you come around and play these games with this pe with people. I don't understand this. This is not my country. I don't have family here. All that is bullshit. You knew enough to treat me and my kids the way you treated us. You had enough support to do the things that you did to me and my children. You had enough support. You were never homeless. You never spent one night on the streets. You had all these women calling me and playing in my damn inbox and sending me messages and all kind of craziness. You had enough. You had enough. You had people coaching you on what to say to me, what not to say to me. You had enough support. You know exactly what you did and you knew exactly what you was doing. So make your apology just as loud as you made your disrespect. And I don't watch you anywhere on social media. I don't give a damn. But when you do that, it'll get back to me. People will tell me. And when it gets back to me that your apology is just as loud as your disrespect, we can discuss money. We can discuss that. But be a man. Tell the truth about what you did. Tell the truth about what you did. Tell the truth about your children that you knew the entire IVF process. But you just chose to pretend and lie and act like you didn't. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. I know you was raised by a liar and a user to be a liar and a user. But tell the truth. Tell the truth. Or I can, or every other week. Well, no, every week. Every Wednesday. I can drop a video of every conversation we've had since we split from when we first separated up until now. Because I recorded every conversation. I can just put it all there. Every conversation. And let the video play. And let the conversation play from start to finish. Tell the truth. You knew exactly what you was doing. You did it on purpose. You didn't give a damn. You knew exactly about the IVF process. You know you have kids here. That you don't give a fuck about. And that you've never done anything for. But you want money because you have needs. What about your children's needs? What about theirs? What about the needs that me and these children had? And I had to keep going. I had to keep going. I had to work. I didn't have time to be down and depressed and crying. There were days that I didn't even fucking know how I was going to feed these damn kids because I didn't have it. But I worked it out. I worked it out. There were days where I didn't even know if I would have electricity in my house the next day. Digging myself out of the hole you put me in. I never called and told anyone about it because I didn't trust people not to be out here talking shit about me. I worked it out. I made shit happen. I made sure my lights were always on. My water was always on. My kids had everything they needed. I always had food in my refrigerator. I made sure they didn't feel a damn thing. Because what, I, because what you did and where I had to pull myself up from. I made sure of that. I made sure of that. So tell the truth about what you did. And make it as public as you made your disrespect. And then we'll discuss it. And that's going to be this video, guys. Oh, and guys, I am also, my video, um, my healing video, um, the video is not deleted, guys. And I'm, I'm going to work on that today as well. I, uh, when I do my playback on that video, because I added a lot of inserts on that video when I was, um, you know, editing it to um, give you guys information about, you know, certain things, certain how certain things had changed when I played the clip that I was so emotional in. Um, but when I do my playback, 
the inserts come up on my playback when I watch my personal playback on my YouTube studio. But when you guys watch it, none of that stuff is coming up. So I'm trying to fix that. So I have that video private. I made it private last night. Um, I'm trying to fix that. And once I get that fixed, because it's for, you know, newer people coming in and just explaining some stuff that I didn't explain in my little um, intro to that video. So just explaining some stuff and, and just putting other information out there. Um, you know, when new people come in and see it, you know, I want that information up there. You know, those inserts. And I also wanted you guys to see it too. Um, but for some reason, the inserts aren't coming up. So I'm going to try to work that out and then i'll take that video out of the private status and put it back public so the video was i didn't delete the video i'm just trying to fix those inserts because i don't know why um you know why that's not coming up so hopefully i can get that fixed so i can go ahead and make that video back public so i didn't delete that video it's in private status because i'm trying to fix that um and then i'm gonna get this video upload it for you guys um this video is gonna be my wednesday upload um and we're gonna get back to the normal schedule yeah but yeah but that's that's it guys that's this video um thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and share love you guys to life Love you guys to pieces. Don't forget to always pray. Put God first. Love on those who love you back. You're going through situations like this. Stand your ground. Stand your ground. Stand your ground. I thank God for making me who I am. I thank God for taking me through my hard reset stage. And it, because that's 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 what I tell people, you know, when I discuss this process and me going through everything. You know, sometimes in life. We have to do a hard reset and me going through this process and healing and just doing what I needed to do for me and my children. That was my hard reset stage. That was my hard reset stage. And I, and I just thank God for that hard reset. Um, and I'm just moving forward and, um, I'm going to do everything that I have to do, you know, for me and my children. I'm not going to live in regrets. I'm not going to let anyone dictate what I do and don't do. I'm not going to give a damn about what anyone, you know, says and, and their opinions because everyone has an opinion, but everyone doesn't have facts and everyone um, don't have coins either. And if you don't have coins to put towards what I'm doing for me and my children, I don't give a damn about your opinion anyway. It means absolutely nothing. But yeah. That's this video. I will see you guys in my next upload. See me popping, I'm a blossom. I don't need a bottom money to my ride. I'm official on a dotty. You can hit a room room in my ride. I'm not sorry. No, I'm not sorry. It's official. I'm a problem. I don't mean it this far. I'm not sorry.